It's so beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my May favorites here for you today. So as usual, I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites. And then I have a skincare favorite, some more makeup-y favorites, kind of a really good um, sort of, I don't know if you'd call it, I guess foundation, skin combo, um, base combo, I guess you could call it. Uh, and then some jewelry favorites. So yeah, some good things to chat about. So let's get to them. Okay, so starting with overall eye favorites, I would have to say the You Can Be Luxury Gathering Palette. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I mean, look at all these options in here. You've just got pretty much everything you'd want to do as far as a neutral look. I mean, a, a more coppery neutral look, a more golden, a more kind of bronzy, a more taupey, a more silvery. There's just a ton of options in here. It's so affordable. You can get it on Amazon. I'll link it for you down below. Um, and the quality is amazing. So if you want to see some swatches of this, any of these that I'm going to chat about that were overall Friday favorites, check out the original Friday favorites and you can see those swatches. So that's my first overall eye favorite. And then next, the Moira Lucent Cream Shadow in Infinity. Oh my goodness. I'll show you a little, a little quick swatch of this. It's so beautiful. So light catching and amazing. Great quality. I'm so impressed with Moira. They really have some beautiful products. They make good makeup. For overall cheek favorites, I've got several here. So kind of was just loving... My really standout favorites, I would say, were more just neutral um, kind of cheeks. So this Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Blush and Body Frosting in Maiden Minutes. Um, so this is a palette that includes three different products, but I believe, yes, all three of these are sold individually. So the highlighter is French Vanilla, the blush is Tropic Hues, and then this is Tahitian Glow. This is beautiful. You could just swirl your, your brush in here and buff it all over your cheeks and just get a glowy, neutral cheek look, or you can kind of concentrate your brush in different areas. It is great. Love that. Love these Ofra Midi palettes, the Face It's. This is in light. I do have this on today. This is beautiful. I mean, great quality, so blendable, really gorgeous palettes. And then... Probably my new favorite bronzer, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in Tawny. Gorgeous. So rosy, so blendable. I mean, really great quality. The formula, I feel like, just cannot be beat. It's amazing. For lip favorite, I've got to go with the NYX Lip Lingerie XXLs. Um, I'm wearing Max out. The formula is so good. It's really low maintenance. It feels like nothing on your lips. It wears really well. Very low maintenance how it wears. It doesn't do the there, not there line or the flaking. It's affordable. There's some beautiful colors in the line. They smell good. I love these. Okay, so this next thing is going to take me a little bit to chat about, but I have sort of a whole... Oh, I forgot to mention this. Okay, really quick. Let's talk about this. Highlighter favorite... Laura Geller Diamond Dust. I'm so excited that her products are sold on Amazon. That just makes it so convenient and easy. Um, and this color is one of my favorite highlighters ever. I didn't know that it was still around. So I was so excited to see that this specific color is still around. You can see that glowy shade. It's beautiful. It's a really unique pinky highlighter that I love. So shout out to this too. Okay, so these next favorites are gonna take a little bit because they're kind of a, a whole sort of combo that I feel like is such a beautiful just kind of base combo like foundation powder etc that just is so flattering and forgiving on the skin not accentuating texture just really good and forgiving so i kind of wanted to run through all of them sort of discovered this combo um while doing an amazon live and i'm like oh my goodness this just everything was working together so i wanted to share it all with you so the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. This is one of my favorite primers. I've mentioned it before. This is really a primer. I feel like you can instantly see a difference. When you put this on your skin, it smooths things, smooths pores, but also fine lines. I feel like it even helps to um, 
It doesn't necessarily say anything about helping with uh, redness or you know I've got some texture and redness on my cheeks and I feel like this just somehow helps with that so I love this primer it's amazing then this foundation again something that's getting a lot of buzz especially on TikTok everybody is loving this foundation it's not super new um, so it's not like it's a new product but I guess people are just discovering it and realizing how great it is this is the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour wear foundation I wear it in 420 this is so good. It's very flattering and forgiving on the skin. It just, I don't know, sits so nicely on the skin where, and it kind of melds into the skin so it doesn't sit on top and it doesn't accentuate texture. At least that's what I find. Um, it's not flat matte. It has a very skin-like look on the skin, but it's also very long wearing. So that perfect combination of not being overly flat matte very just natural looking on the skin, but then long wearing, not breaking down during the day, just wearing well. Two concealers, this is really more of a color corrector, but two concealer type products that have been longtime favorites of mine, but they work really well together and I love them in this combination. So the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the brightener shade, this is a more pinky kind of a concealer type product. It's more just canceling out that discoloration and brightening. They also have a neutralizer color that's more on the peachy side. So it kind of just depends. Do you like a more peachy color corrector or a more pinky color corrector? I personally love a pinky color corrector for my skin tone and this is so good. The formula is really forgiving. It kind of clicks up. That's how the packaging works. The packaging is a little goofy. Um, but I love the product inside. So I don't really, you know, I can deal with the packaging. It's totally fine. And so affordable. Maybelline really does concealers well because they make them where they are creamy and not dry looking. So they don't accentuate texture, fine lines. They have a creamy sort of a texture to them. Um, but then they can kind of set or you can set them with a powder. They just are done well. They've always been one of my go-to brands for concealers, high-end or drugstore, they just do it well. Not to mention their price point is amazing. So Maybelline Fit Me, this is around like four or five dollars, I'd say four to six, but super affordable and this is amazing. I wear it in fair, so I use this first on my under eyes and then I top it with this and I can use this on other parts of my face as well. Um, the formula on this one is Again, very creamy and forgiving on the skin. Just blends so well. I would say medium coverage. I think you can build it up and get some good coverage on it. It's not the most full coverage, but I think that's part of the reason it's so forgiving. You know what I mean? It just, it doesn't look heavy on the skin. They're such a good combo. So, so good. Oh, I love these. And then powder. I love this powder. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. I have been using this for my T-zone. I've been using this pretty much, I think, every single time in Amazon Lives if you wanna see this in action. Um, you can see me just get ready, like start to finish, like start with no makeup, I put on skincare, and then I go start to finish. You get to see me get ready in real time. So instead of a 15 minute, 15 minute get ready with me, you're seeing of course I'm chatting, so it's taking me longer than it normally would, but you get to see these products actually used in real time, which I think is really cool. So this product, I purchased it on Amazon. I wear it in light. This is such a good powder. The one thing I would change about it, it does have a fragrance to it, but it's really, it's not that strong and I don't smell it on my skin. Once I get it on my skin, I do not smell it. I just smell it if I put my nose right up next to it. But I did want to mention that to you, but it is a light, very finely milled, very forgiving and smoothing powder. When I was just kind of researching powders, this one had good reviews and I really don't hear a ton of people talk about this, but it's really good. Just very forgiving, very smoothing, great powder. I have mentioned this many times on my channel, but this is such a good powder. If you want the most smoothing, beautiful, forgiving, correcting kind of a powder. This is my go-to, the Laura Geller 
Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation, and I wear it in Fair. I have hit pan on mine because I love it so much. This is the powder that I will reach for if I have a foundation that something's gone wrong with it. It's looking funky on the skin. It is just clinging to texture or just not looking good. I can grab for this and it will help to smooth that out, perfect it, hide imperfections. It's great. It's a baked powder. It's got these, you know, this kind of like collection of colors. It's part of the reason it's color correcting and the formula of it is just so smooth looking on the skin, really flattering and forgiving. It is so good. If you've never tried this, it's, it's just amazing. A skincare favorite. Again, I've been using this in Amazon Lives. I'm trying out just kind of new things through the Amazon Live situation, um, which is so fun. So brands I've not tried before, and this is one I had not tried before, and I love it. This is the Thayer's Natural Remedies. It says since 1847. So that's really cool. I love, you know, uh, I love a story. I love history. Facial toner, witch hazel, aloe vera formula, and this is in the cucumber. So they have different ones, but this is so just fresh feeling on the skin. I love using this in the mornings because it, it smells amazing. The cucumber smells like freshly sliced cucumber, not like cucumber lotion, fakey cucumber. It literally smells like fresh cucumber. It feels amazing on the skin, um, just helps to really prep your skin, clean it a little bit more. It's so good. Um, let's see, it says it can be used even throughout the day as a softening refresher, uh, but it's supposed to tone, moisturize, and balance the pH level of the skin. Uh, it's got the soothing cucumber essence and certified organic aloe vera. It also contains certified organic non-distilled witch hazel that is grown exclusively for Thayer's on a family farm in Connecticut. Very cool. So yeah, it's just, it's really good and it's super affordable. Can't beat the price on it. Big old container. Smells amazing, feels amazing. This is definitely my standout skincare favorite for the month. And the last step, some really affordable, I feel like really pretty Amazon jewelry. So you guys know, I've pretty much always been a silver jewelry gal. And that's, I think, always gonna be my number one just because I love silver. I think it's beautiful. I'm not usually a gold jewelry person, but I've always liked mixed metals. You know, either a necklace with different colors in it, different metals in it. So I've been loving layering gold necklaces with my silver. And these are Amazon. This first one that I'm gonna show you, I'll try to put up a little like picture in the corner so you can see the actual product, but it comes with two different chains. So it comes with this one right here that's a little bit shorter and it's kind of a, um, a box chain. And then it comes with this one that has a letter on it. So I have a little L and it's just a cute little shape to it. It's got little dots around the side. It is adjustable so you can move it up and down a little bit. So you can pair those together, which is really cute. And then this one, this surprised me. I, I thought I would like it. I was just gonna wear it as a regular, just, you know, chain. But because it doesn't have an extender on it, it just has a little hook, you can wear it as a lariat. So I love that, very versatile. So I've worn it the regular way, but I've worn it most as a lariat. So I like to layer it in between. And you can see that I, you know, I wear it with my silvers. So. I just really enjoy that kind of mixed metal sort of a look. So I've been loving that. These are just, they're super affordable and I'm impressed. I don't shower in them or anything like that. So that helps them, you know, stay pretty looking. So they're awesome. Okay guys, so those are all my May favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving in May, either makeup, skincare, hair care, fashion, home, random, whatever. I would love to hear your favorites. Let me know those down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!